how to create and play animations in Roblox Studio. So firstly, you need to insert a rig. So go to the Avatar tab, click on Rig Builder, and then insert a rig. I like to use the Arthro avatars, but you can pick any from this list. Oh no, actually, not Arthro. I mean uh, the uh, the Blocky. Blocky, of course. Okay, <sighs> phew. Right, okay. Into the Animation Editor then, which you find in the Avatar tab, you then need to select your rig, and it's going to ask you to give it a name, but I'm not really bothered about that right now. And then you can start animating. So we have the timeline down here, and our animation is currently one second long. It starts at zero, zero, and it ends at one uh, down here, right? So this is one second along the time frame. You can drag the timeline keyframe along at the top here, and if you want to, you can extend the animation by inserting a new value into this text box. So now it's two seconds long. If you want your animation to loop, you want to select this. It basically means when it reaches the end, it will play again until you stop the animation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a very simple animation. Now I'm no animator, but I can show you how to use it. What you want to do is you want to firstly, uh, if you want your character to be like this with its default position at the start of the animation, then you can simply click on the plus and select add all body. It's right at the bottom here. You won't be able to see it because it just goes out of the bounds of the screen, but I can see it on my screen. It's called add all body. So you select that and suddenly you have all these body parts on the left. Now you can select one of these body parts from this list. Alternatively, you can just click on one and then you can start. So what I like to do is I like to keep the zero zero, the start of the animation. I like to keep that clean. I don't like to edit any of these body parts because if you do that you won't notice a difference when you change them later on so this is like the default pose I mean perhaps you want your animation to start in a specific manner you want you know if, if you're doing a ro rope animation you'd want the player to start by actually holding the rope so you might want to actually you know set some defaults and, and the zero zero would be how your animation starts what the default is but I mean let's just imagine I'm making a zombie animation right I'm gonna drag the timeline to one second and I'm gonna just move the arms up like this. When you select the arms you want to select the, the highest part in the arm. So in this case it's the uh, what is it what have I got selected here I think it's the upper arm the right upper arm Le uh, uh, yeah le left upper arm okay <sighs> can't get those mixed up okay so left upper arm and if you move that all of the other arm parts are gonna move with it like this okay but if you select the middle arm Okay, only the, the, the hand is going to move with it. So what we've done is at one second, we've moved both arms. And so what's going to happen between zero and one second, it's going to smoothly animate to show this change. Okay, there you go. So click on play and it just makes the arms move up. And at the end of the animation, it repeats. Okay, now I know it's set to two seconds, but because we haven't got anything going on after one second, the animation editor is detecting this and it just loops back. So how do we make it a little bit smoother? How do we bring the arms back down a little bit more naturally? Well, let me just go to two seconds now and we can bring them back down to normal. We can just move them down like this. But I wanna return the player to how they were at the beginning. So I'm gonna take this keyframe from zero, zero. I'm gonna move the cursor to two seconds. I'm gonna paste it in. So now what we've got is from 0 to 1, they move up, and from 1 to 2, they move back down because we're restoring the player to as they were at the beginning. So if we click play now, it's going to be a lot smoother. So that's our animation for you. And I mean, you can do as much other stuff as you like. You can move the entire player's torso by selecting the uh, lower torso and just move it like this, or sorry, the upper torso like this. And perhaps you want to bring them up again. Oh, and you can keep adding as many of these as you like. I mean, this animation is going to be crazy looking in a moment because we've got so many different things moving, but I'm just going to do it to show you what you can do with the animation editor. Okay, right. So let's click on play and see what happens here. Yep, this is quite a crazy animation, but you can see I've done enough to, to show you how it works. So when you're happy with your animation, what you want to do is click on the three dots and then you want to set the animation priority. We're going to set it to action. Now, this means it's going to overrule any other animations which are playing that are 
casual core animations. Things like walking, um, dances, etc. Because this is a specific action, we want it to over overrule uh, the movement, idle, and core animations. So idle is when you're sat doing nothing and your character sort of just looks around in different directions. Uh, core, I think, I'm not actually sure what core is, okay, but it's it's handled by Roblox. Um, and movement, of course, when you're moving. So do you want the action, if, if it's an action animation, it will override any movement animations. So if you're holding down WASD keys, you're moving. If it's an action, it's going to overrule and play over those animations. But if you don't animate a specific part, for example, we've not animated the legs, then I think the legs will still animate as per the movement, idle, or core animations. So you might just want to have a keyframe set up at zero, keeping them in their default position. Uh, but anyway, let me show you how to publish the animation. So you click on publish to Roblox, and then this will bring you through the flow that publishes your animation. Okay, it's gonna ask you to give it a title, description. You don't really need to give it a description. Asset category, you wanna set to animation, and creator. Now, this is sort of important. If it's a game that you own yourself, just set it to me. Um, alternatively, if it's under a group and you have other developers, I'd recommend setting the creator to be the group, just because sometimes other players can't see the animation. Animations are quite strange in that even if you've created the animation, only you can see the animation when it's playing, at least until it's moderated, that is. Um, there's definitely been a few issues in the last couple of years where you're taking the animation ID and it's not working because it's made by another player. So I'd recommend always publishing it under a group that you own or a group which you work with and you have development permissions or just publish it as yourself. Then click on save and you'll find this animation ID. Now, if you don't see this, go onto the Roblox create page and find it under animations, you'll find the ID. But you wanna copy this animation ID. This is really important because it's gonna help us in playing the animation. So let me show you how to now play an animation. So we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to do it for a normal player and also an NPC. So we are going to insert a local script and we're gonna say um, local, well actually what we'll do is we'll do it in a server script, okay? We'll do it in a server script and I'll explain the difference in a moment. If we just close down the animation editor and we insert a script. Let's just do it on our NPC to begin with. So all you need to do is say, well, firstly, we need to set up something called an animator. And so we're gonna say local animator equals instance.new animator. Animator.parent equals rig.humanoid, has to go inside a humanoid. And then we'll say animator colon load animation and what you need to do is you need to create an animation object like I've done here, okay? So what we'll do is we'll just delete this and I'll show you again. So we click on the plus, you click on animation, and then you paste that animation ID in there, okay? And it should turn into an RBX asset ID. Then we can reference that animation object by saying script.animation or wherever the animation is. And then you'll say colon play like this. Now I'm just gonna do a two second delay here so you can actually see things unfold at the top of the script and then if we click on run I'll wait two seconds the animation is playing and it's also looping so that's how you do it for an NPC let me now show you how to do it for a player and obviously we need to firstly get the player so we can do this in a local script for our own player okay if we do it for our own player it should replicate to other players. So if we just do a task.wait in this script, and that should be all good, I think. Let's just give it a go. Let's insert the animation into our local script as well. Let's click on play here. And we'll wait a few seconds. And there we go, I'm also playing the animation. And let's see. It doesn't seem to be replicated, or maybe it doesn't play in studio, I'm not sure. However, if you did want to be totally sure, you could just play this on the server. So that is how you play animations in Roblox. If you found this video useful, please let me know.
If you have any more videos you'd like me to cover, also let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.